All right, so today is day one of me only using uh, the Ex Mondo hair care line. So today is May 2nd. I'm going to be using only Ex Mondo uh, hair care for the next six weeks. So only using his shampoos, conditioners, and leave-in products, including hair masks. What I typically use is a mix of Briogeo and Olaplex. So I usually use Briogeo conditioner and leave-in conditioners, and I use Olaplex shampoo and also some Olaplex leave-in conditioners. Um, I'm only gonna be using Brad Mondo ones I'm kind of trying to do a test to see if using only his products is better for my hair than using what I currently use. I just want to try it out. This was kind of inspired by someone named, I think, Sari May. She does this with skincare, and I think the videos are really cool, and she does really great research, and it's really in-depth. So I just wanted to do that, but with hair care, since I like hair a lot <laughs> instead of skincare, really. So um, this is my hair's starting point. Um, this is how long it is. I don't know if you can see the ends, but here is the ends of my hair right now. This is how they look using just my normal stuff. Um, I have to wash my hair tonight and I'm just going to be starting off, you know, using the Ex Mondo shampoo and conditioner. I brought a measuring tape to measure how long my hair is right now and then I'll measure it again at the end of this in six weeks. So I can't really, <laughs> it's just a normal measuring tape. I don't have like one that's any better for this, but I'm just gonna take this to where my head is flat and just measure down and just see where the longest point of my hair is. And it is at about 17 inches. So from like here down, my hair is about 17 inches long right now. That sounds kind of fake, but I don't know. That's just what I got with this. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this for six weeks and then I'll come back, re-measure my hair, see if it's healthier, see if it's drier or not as healthy, just see how it goes, so yeah. All right, so I am back. It has been six weeks since I started using only Ex Mondo hair care products. Um, I did change the little front pieces of my hair and I trimmed them, but I didn't trim the ends at all So we'll still be able to check the length. I just want to apologize right now for my lighting. It's the middle of the night It's the only free time I have to record videos since I do have a full-time job and I am also a student So I don't have any time. So I'm sorry if this video and videos in the future have bad lighting It's just the best I can do <laughs> right now is film things in the middle of the night when I don't have anything else going on. So the products that I used for only six weeks from the Ex Mondo hair care line are the Ex Mondo Recalibrate Shampoo. And this is eight fluid ounces and retails for $25. I would have used the color maintenance shampoo. However, they were out of stock on the website at the time. Um, and I just wanted to start this video <laughs> as quickly as I could. So I just ordered this. Since my hair is also damaged, I figured this would work pretty well. So yeah, this is how much is left after six weeks. So you can see I pretty much used most of the bottle, probably would have lasted me about two months. The second product that I used for six weeks is the Ex Mondo uh, Prismatic Glow. So this is a hair mask. Um, I did not get a conditioner, I only got a hair mask because I only wash my hair about every five to seven days so like once a week um i typically don't use conditioner i only use a hair mask and i will use it from my ends up to my roots i'll just cover all of my hair in the hair mask since all of my hair needs the moisture so yeah this is the mask that i was using and i've used pretty much this entire bottle uh this does retail for 30 dollars, and it is six fluid ounces so the next product is electric rain and this product is five fluid ounces and retails for $28. I used about half of this tube. I would use this obviously as a leave-in conditioner. I would just take about that big of an amount, maybe a little smaller, maybe like that much of an amount on my hand and I'd mix it with Viper oil just like this and then run it. I would start here and run it through and then any excess left on my hands, I would run it through onto my roots as well just because I wanna make sure that my roots are also getting conditioned since I do bleach up there as well. Um, it can make your hair greasier if you use conditioners and stuff on your scalp, but like I just do it anyways, so yeah. <laughs> and then the last product that I used for six weeks is the Ex Mondo Viper Oil. 
Um, it might be hard to see because of how it's clear, but I used about this much, so I used a very small amount of this. Um, just because it is an oil, a little bit goes a long way. And this product is 1.7 fluid ounces and also retails for $28. And this has like the really cool type of pump where like as you pump, this little bottom piece of plastic like raises up to get every last drop out. So you don't have to worry about like a tube like this where you have to like cut it in half to get the left like last of the cream out. This gets every last drop out for you, which is like, I don't know. I just think it's fancy and cool and fun. So yeah. So those are the products I used. Um, before I get into the ingredients, just overall, um, my hair feels really nice and soft. It feels very healthy. Um, previously, um, I had been using a mixture of Olaplex and Briogeo. Um, I'm going to be doing a video like this. Actually, my next using only certain product for six weeks is going to be Olaplex. So I'm going to be going over Olaplex um, in my next like long-term video. But I'll get into problems I have with the Olaplex products um, in that. So I've just been using those just because they're easily accessible for me. But these products do, like the shampoo in particular, feels much nicer than my Olaplex shampoo. It feels much nicer than the Olaplex number four. And they are pretty comparable since both do advertise as being bond building shampoos. Um, in the uh, key ingredients list on the website, one of the top three key ingredients for Recalibrate is a bond builder, which I'll get into later on in this video. So yeah, my hair feels really nice and soft. I think it does feel healthier than before I started using all four of these products. Um, it's nice and soft. This is how my split ends are looking. I'm so sorry if the lighting's bad and you can't see. But this is how my split ends are. This is just like how my hair is looking. I think it looks really great for the amount of times that my hair has been chemically processed. These ends have probably been lightened with either a color remover using peroxide or bleach itself probably like seven times. So for them to be looking this good, I think is great. My hair doesn't have a lot of frizz. It's very detangled. I can just run my hands through my hair and it doesn't snag and it doesn't get knotted and there's not a lot of frizz all over the place. There's not a lot of static or anything. Like my hair feels super great, super healthy, very moisturized, honestly feels 10 out of 10. So now getting into the ingredients um, of each of these products. So before I get into the individual ingredients, just some things to note about ingredients lists. So on a product, the ingredients lists will be listed from the highest percentage in the product to the lowest. So usually it's water or whatever the highest percentage is at the top. And then as you go further down the list, the percentage like gets smaller and smaller. So if I know where something is on the list, that's just me telling you roughly how high of a percentage um, of that product or of that ingredient is in this product. The first product is the Ex Mondo Recalibrate Shampoo. And this product's highlighted ingredients are its Bond Builder, um, Maracuja Oil, and Hyaluronic Acid. So getting into the Bond Builder, um, I actually looked up the very specific ingredient that is in this, uh, that is the Bond Building technology. And what this does is it, um, it adds hydrogen bonds into your hair. So hydrogen bonds are an ionic bond and your hair is full of them. It is the most prominent bond in your hair. A hydrogen bond can be broken anytime you wet your hair, curl your hair, do almost anything to your hair, a hydrogen bond will break and then they repair when your hair dries, when it goes back to its base form essentially. So hydrogen bonds, um, Anytime you do anything to your hair, any type of styling, hydrogen bonds are being broken and reformed to create that style essentially. And so what this product does is it adds more hydrogen bonds into your hair, which is pretty cool. Um, it shouldn't be confused with what Olaplex does, however. So like I said, this shampoo I thought would be comparable to my Olaplex number no. four shampoo. The Olaplex patent, um, what that actually repairs is not a hydrogen bond. It is repairing disulfide bonds. That's a covalent bond and those bonds, once broken, are never repaired. You don't have very many of them compared to hydrogen bonds and the ones you do have, if you bleach your hair or do any chemical treatments to your hair, a perm, a relaxer, bleach, anything using peroxide, once those are broken, 
they're gone. You can't repair them. Olaplex doesn't repair them. It just adds more disulfide bonds into the gaps, which is still really great for your hair. And it fills in all those holes to like fix the damage, but nothing will ever bring a disulfide bond back. Whereas with hydrogen bonds, those can be brought back very easily. So this is not adding disulfide bonds, just to make that clear. Um, it's not the same as Olaplex, but it does still have a bond building component, which is really cool. The next key ingredient listed is the maracuja oil. So, sorry, I just have notes that I look at. So uh, maracuja oil, it kind of just strengthens the hair and protects from any breakage or split ends or damaging or anything like that. Um, it's listed about halfway down the ingredients list. It is a really good ingredient to have. And then um, the last key ingredient listed on their website is hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid in skincare is known to, it's a humectant and what it does is it pulls moisture from whatever has more moisture. So usually the air around you and gives it to your, to your skin, if that makes any sense. Like it'll pull where moisture is in a higher percentage to the lower percentage. That's what humectants typically do. Um, so usually that's really great if you have dry skin, it will pull the moisture from the air and give it to your skin. In hair care, we don't have the most research on whether or not hyaluronic acid is great. It's definitely not bad and it is a humectant, so it is moisturizing, but there's not a ton of research into hyaluronic acid in hair care, so I can't provide you guys with that much information, but just, it is a good ingredient. It's just, <laughs> there's not too much data on its exact effects for the hair just because hyaluronic acid has just so recently become such a hyped up ingredient that not the most research has gone into it in every single use that it has. And then also some other cool ingredients in here that aren't listed as key ingredients but that I just thought were standout ingredients. This is a shampoo so it's it's just meant to be like a cleansing agent like there are a lot of surfactants in this product that creates the bubbles, gets your scalp really nice and clean, but it also has a lot of nourishing oils. Like I mentioned, it has argan oil. It also has avocado oil. Um, I can't pronounce a lot of these because they are in their like actual, this like scientific name, but um, there's a lot of really great oils and extracts in this shampoo, even though it is just a shampoo. It also has something called Tridacep, I believe is how you pronounce it, 12. So this is an ingredient that, um, is a surfactant and it breaks down silicones in the hair. So this is really, really useful, especially with the X Mondo line, um, but honestly, just any hair care in general, most of your hair care will have some sort of silicone based emollient in it. An emollient is what gives your hair like, or a hair care product that nice, creamy consistency. Um, an emollient is just anything that adds that smooth texture. Usually you'll put oil and extracts into an emollient and that kind of helps distribute the oils throughout the hair. So silicone based emollients build up on your hair. So that would be uh, dimethicone, amodimethicone, trimethicone, dimethiconol, anything that ends in cone is probably a silicone. And those make your hair feel really nice and silky soft for a while. Um, but if you're not using a clarifying shampoo, the silicones will build up on your hair and it creates a barrier almost over the hair strand. So it locks moisture from getting to the hair. And this takes weeks of buildup and buildup and buildup of the silicone to produce this. So don't be afraid just if dimethicone is in a couple products and you use them sometimes, like as long as you're using a clarifying shampoo, there's nothing to worry about. The cool thing about Tritacet 12 is that it specifically is used to break down um, these silicones in hair care products. So his other like, uh, products in his lines, at least the other ones I used, do contain uh, very generous <laughs> amounts of silicone-based emollients. However, since the shampoo does have that ingredient in it, I do feel a bit better about doing this and not having to use a clarifying shampoo quite as often. So this shampoo, I really love and I would definitely recommend it. It makes your hair feel very cleansed, but like not stripped of its moisture, if that makes any sense. So my scalp feels very like clean and stuff, but also my hair doesn't feel dried out because some shampoos, they can make your hair really clean, but they're dried out. And other ones, it doesn't dry your hair out, but it's not clean. This is like the perfect medium. So yeah, that is the Recalibrate Shampoo. Definitely recommend. So next is the Ex Mondo Prismatic Glow. This is the hydrating mask. So I would wash my hair with the shampoo and then let this sit on my hair for 10 minutes and then rinse it out. And this product is really, really cool. It's actually like, 
the actual cream is like like prismatic actually like it's actually holographic it has like a pink like pearlescent sheen to it it's actually really cool and it's really fun to use um and it makes your hair super super soft so i would get in the shower with tangles in my hair because i don't like brushing my hair really ever i just every time hair comes out in the hairbrush it makes me feel bad <laughs> so i try not to brush it too often um so when I would get in the shower and shampoo it and tangle my hair up even more, I would put this hair mask in, let it sit for 10 minutes, and when I rinsed my hair, the tangles just like washed out of my hair, like it just became untangled. That's how smoothing this product made my hair. So for this product, um, the key ingredients that are listed are argan oil and baobab oil. Argan oil is actually the fifth ingredient on this list, so it's very high up on the list. There's a huge percentage of argan oil in this product. Dimethicone and glycerin are listed before, and those are also going to be adding that moisture and softness. So glycerin is a humectant. That's going to be adding a lot of moisture to your hair. And then dimethicone, again, is that silicone-based emollient that's going to be adding smoothness to your hair. Now, dimethicone is the fourth ingredient listed on this list. So it is pretty high up there. So you want to be careful, again, with that product buildup. But this has a huge percentage of argan oil, and the baobab oil is like not far behind it so you're getting a great amount of those oils so yeah overall this is a very hydrating mask it does have those hydrating ingredients it does have the humectants that brought like draw in the moisture it has the emollients that make your hair feel soft and it has the oils that are actually adding in those vitamin e and fatty acids and stuff that's really going to actually strengthen your hair yeah overall i really like this product um because it has such a high percentage of dimethicone for me personally I'm very scared. like I'm very um, wary of using things that have high concentrates of silicones and silicone based emollients. It just makes me nervous because using a clarifying shampoo for me that that's going to pull a lot of the color out of my hair. Um, something like head and shoulders and all of that. That's a clarifying shampoo, but it's also like notorious for pulling the hair color out. So it does make me nervous that it has so much of this, but like in actual use, it made my hair feel great and using it with the shampoo, uh, as you can see, I don't have any breakage or any buildup going on right now. So even though it makes me nervous seeing it on the ingredient list, um, it works really, really well. So uh, the next product is uh, the electric rain. So the key ingredients listed in this are baobab protein, argan oil, and blueberry and apple extracts. So the blueberry and apple extracts are listed fairly low on the ingredient list. Um, but they're still there and those do give you a great amount of vitamin C, A, and B2 as well as E. So these are just giving your hair a lot of nourishing vitamins and stuff to help protect it against damage. Um, and then apple extract, um, it's advertised a lot in things like head and shoulders. It is clarifying for like the scalp and dandruff and all of that, which I don't really know why it would be in this product and not the shampoo, but it is a cool ingredient. It just, <laughs> it seemed more like a shampoo ingredient to me, but that's whatever. Um, so the baobab protein, proteins are great for your hair because hair is made of proteins. Um, it's made, proteins are made of amino acids. There are a bunch of those and they make chains and they make proteins and that's what makes your hair. So adding protein to your hair, especially after you've bleached or chemically damaged your hair will bring strength back to your hair because it's made of protein. So adding protein is just going to make the hair stronger. So this does have proteins in it, which is great. And then again, it has argan oil, a pretty consistent ingredient throughout all of the products here, which is, you know, it's a great ingredient to have. It adds vitamin E, um, it's high in antioxidants and it just, it nourishes the hair really well. So those are all great ingredients to have. Um, this product is full of emollients, which makes a lot of sense because this is like a leave-in conditioner, so you want this to detangle your hair, um, and emollients give your hair that slip that helps the brush just glide through. So this has a lot of emollients, but it also does have a couple of humectants in there which are going to add moisture, and it has a significant amount of extracts and all of that, which is nice because it is adding in those nutrients. Overall, I can't attest to how this product works by itself because I never used it by itself. I only used it mixed with the Viper oil, but when mixed together, these made my hair feel really great. Typically, I will have a lot of like little baby hair sticking up all over like the top of my head and I'll have frizz. I haven't had like any of that. Um, and then my split ends have also been like no, non-existent almost. <laughs> I haven't had a ton of split ends. I didn't cut the length of my hair at all. So I did have split ends on these front pieces because I bleached them to get this new color. But the part where it's just still just plain purple, no split ends, no frizz, 
detangles really really well i can i don't even really need to brush my hair much after i use this i can use a wide tooth comb and it gets the tangles out perfectly fine and there's no tugging and there's no excess breakage because my hair is tangled so really great product i really love this one and i really love that there's proteins in it because it just works extra great for people with chemi chemically damaged hair like me so the last product is viper oil and this product's key ingredients are argan oil, carrot seed oil, and baobab oil. The first pretty much two lines of this are emollients, and then it goes right into all three uh, of these key ingredients. So it has the argan oil, and then it has just another oil in there, and then it has the carrot seed oil and baobab oil like right after. And then after that, it's just fragrance. Um, and the fragrance percentage in here isn't very high. So yeah, it does have a really good amount of the oils in here. There's only six lines of ingredients and two of the lines are just like the active oils in here so that's really great um again like the electric rain i didn't use this alone so i can't attest to how this works alone but again it works really great in conjunction with these other products my hair feels super soft and smooth this is split ends are not a problem don't have frizz don't have any of that of the four not my favorite but it's still not bad and still using it with the electric rain worked out really really well and this is a thicker consistency so i do have like thin to medium hair i don't have the coarsest hair i don't have the thickest hair you know so this can build up on my hair pretty quickly if i use too much but if you have like thicker hair that really really just it you need to like add oils to it to like untangle it and all of that this would probably be really great just because this is a really smoothing really nourishing oil so for someone's hair type that isn't mine this would probably work even better but for me personally electric rain is just the ideal choice it has the protein it's just it's just better for me but this is definitely a good product for people with thicker hair lastly um in the first little segment of my video i did measure my hair um six weeks ago and it was 17 inches long um not from the very root because my measuring tape doesn't do that it's just one of these ones so i put it where my head started being flat and I measured all the way down. So I'm gonna do that again and see how long it gets. And my hair is about 18 and a half inches long right now. So it was 17 inches before, so it's grown about an inch and a half. Um, that's very typical. It's normal for your hair to grow about an inch in one month. So six weeks is a month and a half, an inch and a half, very normal. Um, there isn't a ton of breakage going on to where my hair wouldn't be at the normal rate, so that makes sense, but I just wanted to see if it would, I don't know, make my hair grow faster or make it grow slower, you know, I just wanted to test it out. But yeah, my hair is just growing at the normal rate, which is still really nice. I mean, like, I'm not going to complain about my hair growing, you know? So yeah, that is what happened when I used only X Mondo hair care products for six weeks. Overall, it turned out really great. I mean, like, my hair looks really good. It's really healthy. Um... I think it looks better than how it looked before I started this process. I think the split ends look a lot better. So yeah, that's all. Bye.